I just grabbed a PlayStation game. My throw a couple. And little quick hand motions throughout as well. Um, I might flip from whisper to soft spoken. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> just rambling on. I'm filming this on Monday. This realistically is not going to go up to Wednesday. The Silent Hill, the second Silent Hill 2 gameplay might not go up until like Friday, November 1st. I don't know. I might get it up for Halloween though. Um, we'll see. I gotta do a Deus Ex inspired kind of robot repair roleplay as well. I was asked about doing a non gum chewing roleplay, which I used to do. Um, but I will do that at some point too. I, I know that won't weird you know it's funny when you you have a, a channel and you make as many videos as i have you see the swings i mean because subs come and go to right people to you know are not going to watch you forever or they leave they come back you know and other things to do right <laughs> you have your actual things to do right <laughs> um that's funny like back in the day you know role plays were uh, you know i do a cranial nerve exam at barbershop Stuff like that. Whew. Those were like slump busters for me. Not anymore. Um, I can't remember the last time I did a cranial nerve exam. I just have no interest in doing one either. That's the thing. Like the barbershop ones, I still don't mind doing. They'll still do well over time. Those ones, but like, they do the spy fitting uh, request and, and uh, the spy suit fitting. I did gadgets in there as a role play request. That other robot repair is one I did. I did that request for the, the plastic surgeon one, and I get excited to do those because you can be a little creative and stuff, and then they don't view, and you're always like, ah, shit. <laughs> but it's funny, those have been replaced. Like, if I throw up an eating video now, everybody loves it, you know? If I, eating Mickey's, eating Burger King, eating Arby's, Subway, you know, they always do well now. There's a few things that actually always do well. Video game stuff, like collection videos, always seem to do well. They seem to stand the test of time. <laughs> uh, rambles like this typically will do all right. Whole videos. Well. I still got to do the second part of the new version of the murder mystery roleplay, which is another one that not many people were interested in. Um, but you know, for me personally, I have to kind of go with the flow of what you guys want. While still doing those things, you know. <laughs> it's not like I don't do them. I'll always do them. I just need to be a little more strategic with, with things, you know. Um, but. but I do have some stuff coming. I gotta do another coloring. People like that one, the coloring book. I said I'd do another one. But that's a fall book, so I can still do that in November as well. It's funny, you always think you have more time in the month, like more days. Like, oh, I'm going to do that by the end of October. Like, I had a whole idea for things to do this month, and I was out to do, like, a creepy story of it, which, whatever, I can do that whenever, too. It doesn't matter if it's in October or not. <clears throat> kind of like that one I did a while back that I had made up, but it sounded good. Uh, that was a while ago. I can't remember when that. That was back in Mass Peak, I believe. So that had to have been before 2020. It's a good sound, though.
Pokemon Chapter 2, I believe. I am playing as a Saga Anderson, I believe. He's the FBI agent that, like, Alan Wake's, I think, books had his name. He was the guy in them. So that's playing into the story as well. Um, but he's modeled after Sam Wake, the guy who works for Remedy. I think he's one of the writers, main writers. But he also was the original uh, model for Max Payne. And then it became the guy who voiced him in Max Payne 3 when they sold sold it to Rockstar. I think they sold it to Rockstar to make Quantum, Quantum Break. Um, or the, I own the rights to make the third one. I don't know if they sold the whole IP to him or not. Because I thought they are doing a remaster of the first two, and I think it's Remedy that's doing it. So maybe they just own the rights of the first two still, and maybe any newer stuff can be done by Rockstar. I don't know how that works. But it was a... Uh, I think he had just passed, actually. I don't know if it was this year or last year. Something McCaffrey? I think Kevin, maybe. But he was the... He, he always voiced him, and he voices the character in this as well, I believe. Maybe it was the last thing he did. I'm pretty sure, right? He always voiced him. But he had his likeness in three, Max Payne 3, which his likeness changed. But anyway, that's playing into it. Uh, obviously, Alan Wake's playing into it. And the cult and this other stuff going on. Pretty interesting story so far. It actually takes place the amount of time between the first and the second. So it's been 13 years. Because this game what, originally came out in 23. Like the digital copy. So, this joint looks nice. This cool. You know, she does, uh, the character does, what do they call it? Like a mind palace, you know. Do they do this in Control to another Remedy game, or is this just other media, like other media things that have done this similar thing, where she goes in and if you're, I haven't gotten to it yet, but if you're in like, if you're in a combat situation, you call this thing up, it could be attacked. Um, but you go into cases and stuff, and you're, you find evidence when you do a little crime scene thing at the beginning. I'm putting them on the board and just coming ideas and stuff and theories and whatnot. And there's other things in there too, your maps in there and when you find pages, because Alan Wake is leaving you pages essentially, right? Because the cult like wants to honor Alan Wake and find him. Or whatever. I assume you find him at some point in this game. I don't know. Because you play as this naked dude in the beginning. I'm like, I guess I'm starting off as this naked dude. But he was a guy who was there back in twenty ten, Nightingale, a former FBI agent. It's piecing together nicely. What's his name's in it again? Not in. He was not in the first one, but he was in Quantum Break. He was the main guy in Quantum Break. Uh, Sean Ashmore. He's got his twin. His twin's Aaron. The actress he played. He's been a bunch of stuff. Um. He was in The Boys for a couple episodes. Slamplighter. He was in. He was Iceman. Yes, in two of the th first three X Men movies. He was in some movie act of violence. I saw, I think Bruce Willis was in there. Cole Hauser. Uh, he's been in a bunch of stuff, but he was in Man of Medan, the video game, and he was also in Quantum Break, I think Sons of the Forest. And now this, he's a sheriff in this. I'm like, oh, he looks familiar. Like, yeah, he's making a name for himself now in the video game scene. Um, seems like another good paranormal type story, which I like. I guess I'm only on chapter two, so. It's obviously early. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, he did. Let me look and make sure that he did. I don't want to say someone's past that hasn't. But I guess when I saw something on Instagram like last year.
because I came up with a comedian and I know that's not the guy. <laughs> James McCaffrey. It's not Kevin. It's James McCaffrey. Sorry to Kevin the comedian. I didn't even know this was comedian. <laughs> he died in 23, yeah. So he would have died right after then. Uh, 65. This must have been the last thing he did. He was around in other stuff too. He was, he was a regular. He was a regular actor as well <laughs> as a voice actor. But uh, let's see if he's been done stuff. Yeah, he was Max Payne. He did the voice in the movies. Oh, so he was, Al he was Alex Casey in the first Alan Wake, too. See, I don't remember much of the first Alan Wake. It's been so long. And Thomas Zane. You voiced. Um, but anyway. Enjoying it so far. I still gotta finish up uh, Life is Strange True Color. True Color. Like I said, I'm filming this on Monday, so I'm going to say things here that... ...are not going to add up. <laughs> like, at the moment, the game's... The, the game three is tonight, but the Dodgers are up 2-0 on the Yankees. By the time this goes up, that series could be over if they get swept. Tight games... I've, the Dodgers won game one in the 10th on a Grand Slam, I believe. Um, and they held, they were up 4-1 to one in the ninth. The Yankees got a run, and then they got out of a base load of the and the Dodgers. So, tight games. Uh, Aaron Judge, that dude, what an all-world player in the regular season. He has not really been good at all in the postseason since he's, they started going. This goes back to when he was probably a rookie. He's had a series or two where he's done really well, but I think in this, at the moment, through the first two games, he struck out like six or seven times in his at-bats. It's like, dude, how does, like, Barry Bonds was like this too, up until that, uh, I know the O2 World Series run, he did incredible, but when he was on the Pirates, he wasn't that great in the playoffs, and I don't know if he was, he, I think he made the playoffs a couple of times with the uh, Giants, I don't know how many. I don't know if it was more than the three he made it with the Pirates or not. It was definitely one other time. They, they Maybe it was like 94, 95. They made a wild card run. But it's crazy with Aaron Judge. Like, and it was like, was it, it wasn't last year. It was the year before. One of those years he had like, I don't know, I don't know how many bats it was. He struck out like almost half the time. Like, I don't know, he's not even getting on base. It's not like they didn't even walk him. I don't know if it was game one. Was it game one of the World Series? They walked him with the, to bait, to load the bases. That's how much they had no they had no respect for him. Like because he does nothing in the postseason. It's nuts. I was actually watching some of game one, the like first five innings, and he had I think at that point he had, I think he struck out his first three times in game one. He's just like he's like completely lost. Like every pitcher is just fooling. He's like, it's crazy that happens with guys. I mean, all sports it happens with, but uh, Dodgers might be champs by the time this goes up. I don't know. Or, because the, they're playing tonight and they will play tomorrow night, but tomorrow is the designated NFL recap day. The regular season will take president over the World Series of baseball. <laughs> but the series could be over. Dodgers been hitting like crazy too. Uh, getting they're getting the clutch hits. They're getting big hits when they need them. You know, Otani did hurt himself, but he's still playing some of the shoulder. I don't know. He said he's playing game three, so I don't know. Maybe I don't know what's gonna happen. Right? The Jets lost to the the Patriots. 
I guess the coach wasn't the problem. <laughs> um, there's a couple of other upsets in there as well. The Browns beat the, the uh, Ravens. I'll get, obviously get into it. There's a Hail Mary for the uh, Washington to beat the Bears at the end. That was a botched one, too, by the Bears because they had nobody in the end zone. I saw the play. Daniels threw it up. And everybody was, like, at the one. Like, all the Bears players at the one. There's just a dude on the Redskins commanders. <laughs> he was in the back of the end zone. And and somebody deflected it went right into his hands. He was just like, boop, boop. And it's like, you got it. Like, for, they must have, they botched that because you always have someone hanging out in the end zone. And they were all, I guess, trying to get the ball. I don't know. Kind of a big loss, though, for them. In a sense that that division is... Uh, that division's tough. All the Vikings lost again, too. But I don't want to ruin the recap. Everything on the recap. There was a bad face mask penalty. I'll obviously talk about this stuff more in depth in, in the recap well, I don't even know why I'm saying that I'm an idiot because this is going up after the recap's going up so I don't even know why I'm talking about it I would have, you've already seen <laughs> you've already seen the recap and then I'd actually be repeating it here <laughs> I didn't even realize that I'll talk about it more in the, yes I will we'll talk about it more in the recap but you'll be seeing this after that video <laughs> Other sports. Portland's one and two now. They won their third game against the Pelicans. Uh, they blew the lead in the second. They played the Pelicans twice in a row. Um, Islanders blew a three-zero lead the other night. They'll play another. They would have played another game since then. Since this, I think they're playing tonight, the twenty-eighth. But they were three nothing on the Panthers and then lost six to three. Classic Islanders. They are literally what they've been the last two years. And I think Duclair's hurt now for like four to six weeks. So, And Varlamov looks terrible. Uh, Sorkin's look much, much better, though. They're exactly what they are. Barzell doesn't want to... Dude can step up. He doesn't seem to care to want to step up. It's weird. And a little annoying. I still gotta try Quantum of Solace. I haven't put that in yet to play it. I gotta just go this. I was finished up Silent Hill 2, and then I start playing the Life is Strange, Two Color, True Colors, and then now Alan Wake, so Alan Wake 2. We're going on a, a trolley, a haunted trolley tour. Should be fun. I guess they tell you stories. Like, so I better show you haunted areas. I try, they also have a walking tour, but we're doing the trolley one. And I'll tell you stories. I guess true stories about what's happened and stuff in certain spots. I guess I don't know. I think it's like an hour long. So we did one. We did a walking tour. It's like a candlelight walking tour back in 2014 when we went up to Salem. Yes, we'd still be going up to Salem from here. <laughs> that was really cool. Go through the cemetery, all these old, the old houses with the history behind them, and the witch trials and everything. That was really cool. That was a cool trip, Salem. We went in like it wasn't at exactly at Halloween, but it was. Uh, it had to maybe be like a week or two before Halloween, so it was packed. It was still cool though. That's when I got the picture with the guy who was dressed up as Michael. And it might have been the guy who actually played him. I can't remember which one, if it was the original or not. Because he was there that weekend for some kind of convention. He was hanging out in the cemetery, just literally standing there, like, being Michael Myers. And he's letting people take pictures. And I was like, I gotta do it. Like, and I'm not one to do that. I'm like, oh, God, I'm nervous. I'm like, I gotta. He's letting people take pictures. I'm like, and I got there and he did that. It was really cool, actually. Um, that was a cool time. There's a lot of stuff going on. I might have talked about that at some point. We went to see this guy, like a mentalist type, right? That's what it was. It was this. This was interesting. And he 
goes there, you're on stage. He's on stage with people. He's doing all these things, like kind of like, oh, you know, like mediums doing stuff like that. Oh, yeah, you know this person, oh, somebody you know this person, etc. You know, this loved one have this name. Other things as well. And you're like, oh my God, like, I'm like, oh shit, I'm a believer. You know, I'm, I believe in paranormal stuff, but sometimes I think a lot of it is people being frauds to scam people, right? I think that's with anything. There's, there's probably legit people out there, and then there's the ones that just take over and, and fraud people out of money. But he's doing all this stuff, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, he's calling people up and stuff to the stage, and, all, and everybody's like, oh my God. And then all of a sudden at the end, he's like, the people in the audience that I called up were plants. He pulls down these, the screen comes down. It's just people that have been arrested for like fraud, you know, scamming people and being frauds, taking people for money and saying like, they oh, I can help you with their loved ones and all this other stuff. And the guy just also did turns. He's like, this whole show is fake. I'm telling you all these like breaking the code or something. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I forget what his name is called. Because I was like, oh my God, and I was, you know, oh my goodness, this is all these daddy, and all of a sudden he's like, they were plants, this is the trick I use here, I do this, he's explaining everything. While you see newspaper articles in the background of people who were arrested for uh, conning people. Oh, so I was like, oh my goodness. What else did we do? I went to the Pirate Museum on that one. I went to one of the witches' museums. We didn't go to one. There's more than one, I'm pretty sure. Right? Very cool place. I almost like to go there again in an off month. Because obviously Salem is going to be hopping in the fall. And especially October. Um, what else? There's another one that's like a little, it's almost like a baby wood chipper, but it's not meant for wood. It's meant for throwing leaves in there and mulch them into a bag. I guess you can dump it around wherever you want to put mulch. At that case, I'd probably throw it in the woods. Because that's the thing. There's going to be a lot of leaves, but a lot of leaves just fall into the woods and they're going to sit there. I'm not going into the wooded area we have and breaking up leaves. No one does that. They'll eventually rot and become part of the earth again. I do want to get in there when the leaves are completely gone and just kind of walk in there. It's a small area. We have the one up here too, behind. I went up the hill a little bit the other day, just kind of peeking in there. But the one that way is, is better. Um, because if you see, I, I put pictures up on Instagram, but like literally the top of the street still up here. And then like, cause the, these trees behind me are up above the house on the hill or the hill might, be almost like halfway to the roof, maybe a little higher, and the trees are obviously all above, and then you go all the way down, so the trees down there, you know, there's a massive slope, it's like, because there's houses down there, and just whoosh, right in there. Anything? Oh, we watched. Oh, I gotta talk about this movie. Um, we watched this movie. Don't move. I think it's a Netflix. It's on Netflix. Started off cool. Got. I was getting pissed at how annoyed I was getting at this movie. I don't know where the woman's from. The dude was definitely in Finn something. His name is. I think. It's not the guy from 
Is there another person named Finn? In Stranger Things. Like, the actor's actual name is Finn something. This is somebody else. He was in America, a couple of series, seasons of American Horror Story. I don't know how many now. But I remember him from that. And he might have been popped up in another movie. Well, this woman goes up. Her son had died on this mountain. And she goes up there. She's going to end it. She's obviously beyond. Broken part right from it. And he appears. This guy appears. He's like, oh, don't do it and all this stuff. And he's like, oh, she's like, I won't. And he walks away. He starts walking back down the mountain. And then she catches up to him. And all of a sudden, he's got her blocked in. Like, he can't. she can't open the door enough. And then, of course, he drugs her. Gives us this, this, injects with this thing, and he's like, okay, within 20 minutes, you're going to become paralyzed. It starts with your fingers, and you labor breathing, blah, blah, blah. Well, she fights back. She cuts her zip ties in the back seat. She has a pocket knife, and the car crashes, and uh, she's running through the woods while this is starting to kick in, and he's following her. He's busted up, too, because he was in the front. So he's got a concussion realistically and his head's messed up. And then she starts to feel the effects of this thing. And then he finds her in the woods, she runs, and then she rolls into the river and uh, gets out of that. But he's like, oh shit. She, she can barely do anything at this point. She's still barely moving. And she gets stuck in this lawn. She can't move now or speak. And she can see and hear and blink. And this guy's cutting the lawn, the big mower. He sees her. And he helps her because she starts blinking and he gets it. He's like, okay, he's asking questions. She starts blinking one, two. And she goes into the house with him. He gets her, throws her in a wheelbarrow. It's all the dude. Okay, movie still like, oh, interesting, right? And then the guy gets, finds his way to the house. And he, the, the old guy who helped out the woman's kind of knows. The woman's now hidden behind the couch. He knows something's wrong with this dude. And he starts kicking the shit out. Like, they get into a fight because he knows something's up. And the other guy... He starts, he, this old guy kicks this dude in the ribs like three or four times serious kicks that he does not feel the effects of for more than two seconds. That was annoying me. The old guy eventually dies and he goes to burn the house down. Now he doesn't, he thinks, he's like, I can't find the woman. She's not here. And then she's behind the couch still. She can kind of move her fingers now. Because this, this is supposed to last an hour. This is where I start getting annoyed. At this point in movie time, it's only been about a half hour. Over the time of what's actually going past, this has been over an hour. She should be having more of her feeling back and movement. But the guy's like, oh, the house is on fire. And she's moving the blinds up and down. And he sees that from the car and comes back and grabs her. So now she's in the car with the killer again. The serial killer. I'm spoiling this movie here, but And then it, it's just every place. He has to stop because he steals the old guy's truck after he burns down the house. And they have to stop at a gas station because it's out of gas and now there's a little kid there and the woman's in the front seat and she can kind of move a little her finger she gets on the the, the unbuckle the, the belt the seat belt and she's looking at the guy the kid and the kid's like and the mother's like what are you doing don't talk to her even though she can't move barely can move but she does call the cops this woman so the guy and the guy pumps the gas the thing's on empty he literally pumps the gas for 30 seconds and it's like okay I have a full tank of gas once again, she should have more feeling at this part. At least more sporadic stuff, because they try to throw this in late. Because he goes back to his crashed car. I guess he's going to tow it. I forget what he's trying to do. And then a cop. This is where I start getting pissed. This cop appears. So we found, we heard something about a call about this car. And then he's trying to say his wife's drunk in the thing. She's, she's drank booze and cannot move now. Or speak. I've never gotten that drunk. I don't know if anybody has, if any of you have. Let me know if you got drunk to the point where you can't move your body or speak. Um, and the cop kind of knows something's up, but is he would the cop would have had this guy on the ground within five minutes of this dude's bullshit that he was saying. It was so I was getting pissed. <laughs> and then. Uh, of course, you know, the guy goes up to the woman and she's like, ah, she's, does she say help? She's starting to get the words out. And all of a sudden he's like, and then the guy kills him because, you know, the cop didn't have his gun drawn the whole time. And of course, he, he knew something was up, but wasn't, wasn't going to take any serious action. And was going to let his guard down to this guy that he kind of knows is messed up. So he gets killed. That's annoying me. He was going to shoot her up with another needle, I think. She gets the needle, jabs it in his leg. She has enough power to do that, but she can't push the thing down. 
And then that's where he's like, oh, you, uh, you get sporadic movements. But then I'm like, dude, she would have had full movement back at this point. It's been like five hours. You said it was an hour. It would wear off. Even if you want to say she's coming too slowly, fine. She still would have been fine. And it was like convenient when she needed to move a little bit or not. They end up in a boat because the guy's parent, the guy's wife and kid are going to come to this cabin where he kills these people. He goes to this cabin all the time to get away and have me time or some bullshit. And she's finally going to come up to the cabin, the wife and the kid. So he's got to end this quick. So I go out on a raft, a boat, and he's stolen the cop's gun. And then uh, she finally makes it. She kills him because she, uh, what does she do? Oh, she's jab she has enough energy to jab him with a knife in the throat. Shoots him like three times with the gun, you know, but she also shoots the boat. Slow leak in this boat because she also jiggles the boat with her body a little bit. Still not moving too much, just the arm. And then he flies off the boat. Spoiler, isn't fully dead at this point, which he got shot like three times and jabbed like right through here. Um, but all of a sudden the boat starts sinking slowly too because... She shoots. She shot the shots. The guy, she has to jiggle him off. She's still sitting there for a bit, and all of a sudden, the water starts coming. I feel like this water would have been in there instantly because there's, like, two holes in the boat. It's a, a little canoe type thing. She sinks, but all of a sudden, she has the power now to get up back out of the water after a minute. And the guy makes it to shore, too, and she watches him die and says something that he said, how he became a killer in his mindset of an accident he had with a wife, and he was paralyzed for a little bit or some bullshit. I was, like, getting so pissed, though. And I said to my fiance, I'm like, this would have been better off if it was, like, a 55-minute show or just a straight, like, hour movie to where it would be more realistic that she's not getting her full... St the movie should have realistic and realistically ended maybe after he grabs her out of the burning house and maybe she takes him out in the car or something like that or causes another accident. Who knows? It was pissing me off. I was pissed. I was like, this movie was cool until it got really annoying and stupid. We were going to watch Terrifier 3. I had seen the first one. I haven't seen the second. I know everybody's fucking creaming their jeans over this movie. They, you know, when the original was cool, because I remember we watched it. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of weird, over-the-top type horror movie. And then I forgot about it. And then I, I was on Tubi, I think. And I was, I'm like, let's check this movie out. I'm like, I swear we've seen this before. I haven't seen the second. They're all supposed to be fine movies. and then, But it's just funny when people latch onto something and start creaming themselves over it. And it was like the third one was in the theater. I don't know if it still is. But like people walked out of the I mean, get the fuck out of here with this walking. I remember that for the interview with the vampire. It was so over the top, Corey. I had to leave. They were saying this in an interview with the vampire back when they when that came out in like 93. I remember that. I had to leave the theater. Like, come on, man. <laughs> they were doing more gory stuff back in the 70s. You watch movies like Rabbit and shit. Like, come on. I guess maybe if you're not used to watching anything like that, but I assume if you're seeing Terrifier 3, you've seen the first two, and you've probably seen other movies that have a lot of gore and, and gross stuff. And it's like, come on now. I do want to watch the second one and eventually the third one. I might just watch the first one again, too, because it's been a while. I don't know when that one came out, but I was like, this looks really familiar. Um... But it was funny, though, because it outgrossed the second week. The second week, Joker, Joker 2, is that it outgrossed that movie, which I thought was funny. Everybody, they made a better movie talking about it. I was like, yep. But a lot of people saying the dude who directed the Joker, he obviously directed the first one, too, the second one. He didn't give a shit. And he almost did what he did on purpose, because apparently the critics and the users are in agreement that it's a pile of shit. 
When that happens, the movie's probably a pile of shit. <laughs> see heretic with Hugh Grant that comes out next week I think not this Friday next um, that looks cool yeah I still gotta get a metal detector and a telescope I do want a metal detector to go in those little woods area see if I find anything a telescope just because you don't have really any light pollution over here which is nice I used to have a telescope back on you see the moon and some bright stars, but they come down here when I'm down in Florida at my aunt. Why don't you go visit my aunt and my mom? You, know, you walk outside, and plenty of you probably know this if you live in areas that don't have a ton of light pollution. You go outside and you're seeing, you know, I've never seen any of these stars before because I only can see Orion and the Big Dipper on Long Island. Everything else is freaking, you can't see because it's, it's light everywhere. It was so cool. It was different. And I was like, oh, this is a decent thriller. It you know, it follows the same beats of other movies, but a little different now. He gives her that drug and stuff, but it, it, it was like an hour and a half. It should have been no more than an hour. I don't know why more movies don't. They used to, back in the day, like horror movies, especially in the 80s, they would come in at like barely 80 minutes or a little over 80 minutes. And I felt like it meant, you know, it was more like in real time almost and stuff. Because the first, I'm trying to think of when I start getting annoyed, it was probably about halfway through, maybe about 45 minutes. I was like, it could have easily at least been 20 minutes. Even if you ended it with the cop, maybe there's a struggle with the cop and the dude, and then she comes to finally. It's like, it just it just kept going on. I'm like, I was waiting for the, them to just let her drown in, in the water. No, she never got her full strength back, or full body motion back, I guess. <laughs> What else? I don't know. It's getting a little chilly out. We went to the zoo. I should have been rambling about that. We went to the zoo. Uh, so it's Saturday. It was fun. We went to the Mill Creek Orchards first. That was cool. We got, they have a good chicken sandwich there. Well, they have a cider house there. They just opened a cider house at this place. I guess back in September. It was the second time we went there. But they, you know, they sell their own baked goods and cakes and stuff like that. And this stuff, you know, the little wagon rides or, you know, type things. It's not a wagon, it's like a tractor. And stuff like that, but they open the cider place. It's nice, nice little pond type thing there, nice trees and stuff. So, and we sat outside because it was like 80 degrees on Saturday, so. And then we went over to the zoo. Zoo was packed because it was Saturday and they were doing, I guess, a trick or treat type thing there. So I keep forgetting it's like Halloween. I'm like, why is everybody dressed up? But they have stations set up throughout the zoo where kids can get candy. It was good. We, we almost saw it pretty much everything. The polar bear was not out. We couldn't find the polar bear. The ocelot, we couldn't see. They have a huge, because this is supposed to be the biggest open habitat zoo in the world. And the area that the zebra, not the zebra, the zebra and the giraffes are in a big area. The bison and the elk are in a really big area too. Um, the regular bears, even the polar bears, are not in a big area. The lions, we saw the one, there was supposed to be a male in there too, but we didn't see that one. Um, and then the female went and like laid in this thing, could barely see her. They had a decent sized area. The mountain lion did not have a big area, and reptiles always get the short end of the stick in these places, man. 
they had some gators there and they had some space it wasn't like tiny there's a big alligator snapping turtle that did not have a ton of area and regular turtles had some good area but like snakes and stuff they always end up like no space like i would assume they're judging this based on how much space they think they need or what they normally have but i feel like snakes have more than like a area the size of this couch you know <laughs> they hang out more than that. i don't know they had an area a desert area that was enclosed and there was birds flying around um and there was a lot of lizards and stuff in there that's where they had the sand cat my fiance was losing everybody it's like oh my god look at the snake. oh my god it's so cute there's two of them they had a pretty big in area for the two because they're not big they're like tiny they're like the size of house cats they might even, they're probably i think they're smaller um But the, they were, one was sleeping in the thing, like, right at the front of the glass. Of course, somebody tapped the glass, and the thing woke up, kind of like, what are you doing? And then went back to sleep, like any other regular cat would. Oh, and the, the rhinos and the... Uh, I think the elephants were not in the same part as the rhinos. I think that was fenced off. The elephants had a big area as well. But the rhinos, and there was an uh, antelope. Or gazelle, are they the same thing? And the rhinos were all the way in the far back from you have like a viewing kind of you know you're up top and there's a huge amount of space for them like huge uh, but they were all there and there's like right thing they i guess they, the guy said you got to come at like right after it opens or towards the end you'll see them closer up because they were all the way out there i took a picture put it on instagram i don't know if you can see it. they were all there was one moving around the tree line the gazelle antelope, whatever, were closer, but you can't, they were still a little subsidy, there's five of them, I think there's five rhinos, but, uh, there's just a piece of dust, I don't know where that came from, I might have popped off my hat, um, but that was, uh, that was cool, you know, and you like to see them have the open space. I do have one more video I have to put up of the bison. I do have actually a red wolf, too. A three-legged red wolf. I got a video of I might put that one up, too. That didn't have a huge area, either. That one makes sense to be at the zoo, though, missing a leg. Like I said, we didn't see the ocelot. I don't know where that was hidden. There was gorillas there we saw as well. And chimpanzees as well. One of the gorillas was born in like 83. There was a bunch of other stuff too. There was some puffins, otters. And one otter, we saw the otters. And the otter just kept doing these back spins off the glass. And then they swim back around, go up top. Then they go up top. There's another area. It was doing that. Very active. And there was uh, lemurs. All types of zoos. It was a nice zoo overall. Um, we got some collector's cups for our seven fifty eight dollar drinks. <laughs> They're opening an Asia area too in twenty six. You saw the front of it looks really cool, and, and obviously building it looks nice. Giraffes, like I said, giraffes and zebra had a big area. There are three giraffes there. That's always me. Like, it's like give give these things space if you're gonna put them in somewhere, you know. Give them their space at least, and most of them had good stuff. Like reptiles, always kind of. But I said I don't know if they don't care reptiles or what. Uh, they obviously know better than me. They work at this place. <laughs> I'm not a zoologist or whatever. Oh, there was one place we went to in uh, Pennsylvania. This was like a really really small zoo. I forget where it was. It was when we went to Pennhurst Asylum for the Halloween thing. They had an alligator. It wasn't even a big alligator. Maybe it was like four feet in the tiniest space. It was literally almost a little bit bigger than this couch. It was nuts. I was like, you got me shitting me. Like, but they did have a grizzly bear and black bears as well. I had a video of the black bears, but they were kind of far off and they blended in. And the bison are like right on the other side of this big fence. <laughs> Someone's like, don't let the bears get to those. I'm like, those black bears would get annihilated by these bison. A grizzly bear is a different story, but <laughs> black bears not typically not a, trying to take down things often. Um, 
The elephant were cool too. They all had tusks and stuff. Um, I think there was five of them. It might have been four, and then there was one on another area. I don't know if they were separated for a reason or it was just over there, and the other ones could have gotten there if they wanted to, and this one just decided to. Or it, it bothers the other ones, the other ones bother it, so they, I don't know. Um, then we went to uh, this place, Sakura Express. Sushi place pretty good, and Randleman. At night. Um. It was funny that day that I wanted to go, but I was like, let's not bother because I'm going to just spend money. The Toy Busters place where I got the Bloodstone game, 007 game. They were having a outside. There were people, I guess, were going to come down and pay for like kind of a little flea market, but with all toys and games and stuff. And I was like, she's like, oh, that's today. You want to go? I was like, you know what? I'm just going to spend money. I shouldn't. So it's not. <laughs> I haven't even been in the... the the collectibles and flea market stores since I did that video. So, eventually I'll get back over there. But we will be in town for the uh, thing. The trolley thing. Um, that is 8.30. What night? I forget what night it is this week. It's not Halloween. And it's not Friday, so it'll be there Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, but anyway... And let's ramble here, 40 plus minutes. And disregard the sports, the football sports talk. I forgot I'm putting the recap up. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm putting this up before the recap, but this is going up after it. Hey, hey. But anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks for checking this out, and have a good day.